tonight at 8, whether or not those BART workers go on strike Friday, Bay Area transit agencies have plans in place and say commuters should be thinking of a plan B now. Crown Force Justine Waltman has your alternate routes. Remember this, full ferries, long lines for buses, and bad traffic? Plans are now in motion to keep the commute smooth in case of another BART strike. We will start with BART's charter bus service. BART is paying about $900,000 for these buses. Starting on Friday, 150 buses will be ready to shuttle commuters. You can catch the free bus at the following nine stations. El Cerrito del Norte, West Oak. Oakland, Lafayette, Concord, Walnut Creek, Dublin Pleasanton, Hayward, Fremont, and San Leandro. The buses will go to the San Francisco Trans Bay Terminal. Parking at the BART stations is also free in the event of a strike, and BART does plan to increase the amount of buses to 200 for next week. Speaking of buses, AC Transit will put its biggest buses on its busiest routes. The fares stay the same, and AC Transit does anticipate increased ridership. SF Bay Ferry will put out all available vessels. This special schedule will have departures every 45 minutes. The Oakland to San Francisco ferry building ride begins at 530 in the morning. For the evening commute, the boats will start departing San Francisco at 315. SF Bay Ferry is anticipating extra riders and will have off boat ticket sales. If there is another BART strike, the transit agencies also tell me they only need a few hours to get their plans in place to help you get around. In the newsroom, Justine Waldman, Cron4 News. Stay connected with Cron4 on the BART negotiations. You can get the latest on our website, cron4.com, as well as by checking our Facebook and Twitter pages. You can also download our mobile app. And on the website and, the map, on, and on the mobile app, we have a section dedicated to BART. You can even get push alerts to get the latest information.